Hey, today we're gonna learn a trick called Rocket Aces. Now, why is it called Rocket Aces? Well, because in poker, and it's kind of a play on words, in poker you can have a hand, you can have pocket aces. And since this is a trick uh, that it does involve two aces, two very special aces, and it's an ace to your pocket effect. You ready to learn it? Let's go. All right, so to do this trick, you're gonna need a couple of things. Uh, first of which is, you're gonna need two marketed uh, gimmicks. You're gonna need uh, NFW, and you're gonna need McDonald's Aces. Now, the reason why I come up with these tricks is because sometimes you get these one-hit wonders, you get these packet tricks, and you can uh, really only do one trick with them. You know, you get these gaffes, and you're like, oh, these gaffes are cool, but I can only do NFW. I can only do McDonald's Aces. And when I was going through both of these tricks, I noticed that there's a similar card in each, and I thought, well, how could I use these two gaff cards from two different tricks in a brand new trick, and I came up with Rocket Aces. So here's what you're gonna do. In NFW, okay, you have an Ace of Clubs, and the Ace of Clubs has the Joker on the back. You're gonna need that card. And then, within McDonald's Aces, you also have a couple of aces, and you also have an ace of clubs. And on the back of uh, this ace of clubs, there's a two of clubs on the back. And so you'll need that card as well. And then the rest of the gaffes, you don't need. The only other thing you're gonna need then is a deck of bikes that matches the joker that you're gonna be using in play. Now, obviously you might not have both of these, you might only have one of these, I don't know. So really what you need to do this effect is you need two double face cards that both have the same card on one side. I'm using aces. I think it works best with aces. You be the judge. All right, so you're set up. Uh, with your deck, the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to remove the real ace of clubs, the real two of clubs, and you're gonna need to remove both jokers from this deck. Then, in your setup, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take the joker double facer, and you're gonna place it face up, joker face up, in the middle of the deck, like that. And then with the second one, you're gonna place it second from the bottom with the ace face up. And then you're gonna put an indifferent card on top. Put this in the box, and your setup is good to go. Now we're only gonna do this trick with very limited patter. You're free to make up your own patter, of course. I'm just gonna show you the basics of how this trick would work. Um, first thing you would do is you can either go through the cards um, in your hands or you could spread the cards out on the table and show your spectator that this is a well-mixed deck. You're going to see the joker that's in the middle of the deck and you're going to casually remove it um, and just say that, you know, I didn't see the joker was in there. We're not going to use, uh, we're, we're going to remove the joker from the deck. At this point, it's gonna be up to you how you put it in your pocket. Um, I like to, as I'm going back around, and I'll use this as an exposed view, I like to turn it as it's going behind my back so that the ace of clubs is actually facing me and the joker is facing out like this, okay? Reason is, is once I put it behind my back and I put it in my pocket, I don't wanna to have to remember which way it's facing so that when I go back to grab it, It'll be a side out, okay? So you're removing the joker, putting it behind your back, and as you put it behind your back and stick it in your pocket, you're rolling it over so the ace is towards you, okay? And then you say something like, you know, normally uh, when you do a card trick, uh, the magician would go through the cards like this and just ask you just to select any card. And at that moment, what I do is I out jog the bottom card 
okay? And I take the bottom card out like this, and I say, but we're not gonna do it like that. We're gonna actually keep all the cards together. And I stick the indifferent card back into the middle of the deck. The reality check is, now I have my second double facer right here on the bottom of the deck. Now you do a swing cut, and you're in the perfect position to do a riffle force. You riffle down, show them the ace of clubs, which is where they will stop, okay? And you say, hey, we're not even gonna remove this card from the deck. I'm gonna leave it all exactly as it was, or exactly as we found it, whatever words you wanna use. You place it back down, put it on the table, and show that you have no breaks, and then you tell your spectator they can even cut the deck, okay? The spectator's gonna reach over, and they're gonna make a single cut, just like that. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna play a little hypnosis game where you're gonna say, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make you forget your card. I know you don't believe I can actually do it, but I can. If I just rub my hands together and generate some heat, okay, and you can then do whatever. You can hold their wrist, you can put your fingers in their temples, you can say some spooky words, and you wave your hands and say, your card is forgotten. And not only is your card forgotten, but I have taken your card and reversed it in the deck. They don't believe you. Of course they don't believe you because they still remember their card. But you, you know, you're playing along and you show them, no, really, it's true. You've forgotten your card, you don't know what it is, and I've reversed it in the deck. Wanna see? And you take the cards, and then you do a quick fan across the table, and you show them that the two of clubs is reversed in the deck. Well, that's kind of a cool trick. I mean, you did reverse a card. It's just not their card, and they tell you, that's not my card. And you say, no, it is. That is the card you picked the two of clubs. See, you just forgot what your card was. And they say, no, I didn't forget. And you say, okay, well, what was your card? And they say, the ace of clubs. And you say, the ace of clubs? That's impossible. You can gather the cards back up, turn the deck over, and fan it again. And you can fan through all the cards and they will see that the ace of clubs is not in the deck. Well, that's because it's sitting right here underneath this card. So they'll look through, not see the Ace of Clubs at all, and you say, don't you remember at the very beginning of this trick, I actually removed one card from the deck? It was the Ace of Clubs, and it's been in here, in my pocket, higher time. That is Rocket Aces.